I'll be honest, I debated whether to actually answer this question or not, because I thought it might have been a troll question, but I don't think it is. I think it was sent with genuine intent, so I'll answer it with genuine intent. And it says, why do you teach luxury brands to psychologically manipulate customers? You should be ashamed. You would do far more good working for the NHS. Okay. <laughs> well, first off, manipulation means skillfully tricking someone into doing what they would otherwise just wouldn't do. It invariably involves deception in the sense that the person being manipulated is almost always either lied to or at the very least, crucial information is withheld, right? So what I do for luxury companies is luxury consumer influence, and that's very different from manipulation. Because luxury is defined by its emotional appeal rather than, say, its practical utility. And therefore, the role of luxury is to convey a feeling of exclusivity and accomplishment, don't you think? So reading and interpreting those emotions which drive luxury consumer behavior and finding innovating ways of triggering them constitute the essence of the consumer psychology that I help luxury brands with. But it doesn't involve tricking people into doing things that they otherwise would not have done. I don't teach luxury brands to stand on the street and grab random people and force them into the boutique to buy the latest Hermes bag or, you know, trap them in a car dealership until they're brainwashed into buying a brand new Aston Martin or a Maybach. It's simply about predicting behavior, buying behavior in particular, and then giving the brand the right behavioral tools for their staff and the right message, of course, so that they generate the right psychological response at exactly the right time, thereby influencing luxury consumers into willingly and freely buying luxury products and services that match their lifestyles and their desires. And as for working for the NHS, well, <laughs> the NHS probably couldn't afford me, but quite apart from that, my skill set isn't in psychotherapy. It takes a very specific type of person to be a really good psychotherapist and I would be a terrible psychotherapist. Genuinely, I'd, I'd be awful at it. So, do I teach luxury brands to manipulate their customers? No. Would I do more good working for the NHS? Also no. The NHS has no use for my particular skill set. And as I said, I would make a really bad therapist. So, I hope that answers your question. <laughs>